Good morning kids and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Flicks on Paragmatic. Today we're going to be looking at what if regional Pokemon got Mega Evolution. Let's hop in and check it out. With Pokemon Legends EA reintroducing Mega Evolution, there is a very real chance something incredible could happen. Mega Evolutions to Regional Forms. Ooh. So to give an idea of what that could be like, let's give some Megas to already existing Regional Forms. Hey everyone, Brandon here. Hey Brandon. We covered this idea on the channel way back when, so make sure to check out that video if you haven't. Also hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to- Oh, I guess this is a plot too then. <laughs> ...to see more content just like this. So to start us off, we're headed to the Alola region with one of the first Regional Forms ever introduced. Alolan Executor. Hold on that one. And we're back. Let's go. There was a I'm in a good mood because I just got some good news. It's a temptation to give this palm tree dragon an even longer neck and call it a day. But <laughs> that would make for a pretty boring mega, and that joke has been played out since this Pokemon was first introduced. Oh, shit, look at that. So when working with Trainer Rex, I decided to go a different direction with Mega Alolan Executor. Oh, it's based off the Hydra, isn't it? Shit, that's cool. The three heads of Executor have become solo acts though still attached to the same body, referencing the Hydra from Greek myth. Yes! So with how goofy they look, I would say they're closer to the Disney incarnation. The way yes. the three heads connect to its body is also meant to evoke those stereotypical deserted tropical islands, a la Exeggutor Island or even Spongebob Squarepants. Nickelodeon, <laughs> Disney, and Nintendo all rolled into one Pokemon. With Disney slowly becoming more of a monopoly, that is a strange but realistic possibility. Oh, Yay, no. capitalism! So, hold on, we'll be right back. And we're back, let's go! Anyway, Mega Alolan Exeggutor through Mega Evolution and its newly proportioned body has gained some more of that psychic power as seen in its Cantonian form, manifesting in its new ability, Mind Over Matter, which works like Steelworker, boosting the power of psychic type moves by 50%. This would help Alolan oh, Exeggutor's good. move pool, which is still surprisingly full of psychic type moves, and give it mastery over three different types, much like it has mastery over its three heads. Or, I guess four if you count this little cutie. <laughs> as far as stats, with the boosted 100 to its BSD, I would pump 60 into special attack and 40 into physical attack, making Mega Alolan Exeggutor a very slow but powerful attacker. And if you take issue with any of the stat changes I make in this video, just a reminder, I'm the ideas demi guy, not the competitive demi guy. We have another cutie with Alolan Raichu who's next. Mega Pikachu isn't ever going to be a possibility, so I feel like giving this Pokemon a Mega is the closest thing we will get, considering it references two different different Pikachu forms in its inspirations oh, and with how yeah. gosh darn friend shaped it is. So to keep that friend shape friend -shaped. and reference another form of Pikachu, I worked with Deems Fakemon to create Mega Alolan Raichu. <laughs> this form, like G-Max Pikachu, is inspired by Fat Pikachu. It is oh, also yes, inspired by another fat mm. icon, Budai, who is more commonly mistaken as Fat Buddha. Budai was a Buddhist monk who loved food and drink. He is almost always depicted laughing or smiling and as such is a symbol of joy, abundance, and good fortune. This lines up well with Alolan Raichu, as its love of pancakes is said to be what initiated its regional variation. Speaking mm -hmm. of, its cheek pouches are now colored to look like the fluffy pancakes it adores so much. In this form, it rests upon its now star-shaped tail, which both evokes a lotus flower like many Buddhist and Hindu figures are shown resting atop of, but also the psychic type's link to all things cosmic, as seen with Pokemon like Jirachi, Cosmog, yep. and the Elgem line. Obviously. Alolan Raichu's base stats majorly focus on speed and special attack, so we'll bump those each up by 40 and then give a slight bump to special defense with 20. And I would be yeah, remiss okay. if I didn't bring up a Mega we featured in our last video on Megas, which you should totally check out. Mega Alolan Ninetales, who I worked with JJ ah, once to create. Here we go. This form enhances the already wispy cloud-like fur of Alolan Ninetales, but also references Auroras with its vibrantly colorful tails. With the power of Mega Evolution, this Pokemon channels a furry flurry of fury through its mighty tails, which is able to even- Damn, now that's a tongue twister. Oh, furry, oh, no, I already messed up. Fury, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't freeze fire Move on. itself. <laughs> if you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a member. It really helps me pay the wonderful artists I work with to make these fake mon. And you get you perks like early access to videos, people, a thank you at the end of my videos, and if you become the Art Mage tier, you directly pay for one fake mon design a month that you're credited for and receive a high quality image of. So make sure to hit that join button. It really does help. Moving on to the Gala region, yet another Mega we made in our last video on the subject was Mega Slowking, seeing as Slowbro <laughs> had one and Slowking didn't. And in our last video on regional Megas, we made Mega Galarian Slowbro. So naturally, I went with Dean's fake one to create Mega Galarian Slowking. Look at that thing! That thing is straight up a witch doctor! <laughs> Through Mega Evolution, this Pokemon has become a full-on poisonous volcano, expelling massive globs of toxic goop from the horns coming out of its head. That's some literal brain rot right there. 
Honestly, this design Funny. is such a perfect mirror to Mega Slowking and step up from Galarian Slowking. Stat-wise, I would put 50 into both Special Attack and Special Defense, seeing as those are Galarian Slowbro's main two stats. Makes Next, sense. one of my absolute favorite regional forms is Galarian Darmanitan. Oh, Not only okay. because it is a fun okay. concept to swap a Dharma to a snowman, but because its Zen mode is our first incarnation of an Ice Fire type, which I absolutely adore. Though I really wish it had some kind of official art like the original <laughs> Zen mode does. Make it happen, Game Freak. Yeah, I'm watching on, you. Always watching. Anyway, yeah. I worked with Rex once again to create Mega Galarian Darmanitan, Damn! an Ice Fire type. Look with at Darmanitan that! Darmanitan already having two forms, it made complete sense to me to combine them through Mega Evolution. So this Mega Pokemon channels the strength of both its Standard and Zen Mode, as well as the fiery might of its Unova counterpart, oh. releasing the scorching power held within. The Dharma that Darmanitan is originally inspired by comes from the Zen tradition of Buddhism. But Galarian Darmanitan with its beard and headpiece may also refer to other Dharmic religions, being reminiscent of Hindu and Sikh elders. So with uh, that in mind, I decided okay, to draw okay. inspiration for this mega from the Hindu epics the Ramayan and Mahabharata with Kabanda, a creature that was cursed to be a Rakshasa or demon. It appeared as a mm -hmm. headless torso, much the same as Darmanitan does with its body shape. Also in the Ramayan, upon dying, Kabanda resumes his original uncursed form and guides Rama to Sugriva, the exiled monkey chief. And what is Darmanitan? You guessed it, a monkey. <laughs> so I, oh, that, I was gonna say, a monkey, but then it was an ad. Layer to this design as well. With Mega Galarian Darmanitan's now demonic appearance combined with its snowman inspiration, it becomes a reference to the malevolent equivalent to Santa Claus, Krampus. Uh, that would punish misbehaving children, said to either eat them or take, take them, them to hell. hell. Which works well, given this Pokemon's partial fire typing. And speaking of that, Galarian mm -hmm. Darmanitan just does not have access to many stab fire moves by level Any. up. So we would either have to include some fire type moves in its learn set, or give it the ability Conflagrate, which turns all those normal type moves it learns into the fire type. As far as its hey, BST, good. I would reflect its Zen mode stats and add an extra 20 onto attack and speed, making this basically just a better and more permanent version of Zen mode. And in our last video, I gave a Mega to Hisui and Typhlosion, but the other two starters were left in the dust. Yeah, so let's come on. That with the help of L7076. To start us off, here is Mega Hisuian Decidueye. Oh, damn. Normal Decidueye is my absolute favorite starter Pokemon, so you know I had to do my boy justice. <laughs> Hisuian Me? Decidueye yes. is originally inspired by Ronin, outcast samurai that used to wander Japan, with their straw oh. hats and capes, or Kasa and Mino, respectively. The straw also manifests as these arrows lining Mega Hisui and Decidueye's wings. I decided to enhance those aspects okay. while also referring to two mythical beings. The first is its inspiration of Sikap Kamui, who was a god of owls and the land, and whose tears were said to be made of gold, which Damn. is referenced in the now gold coloration around this Mega's eyes. The other is a creature called the Namahage, demons that look for children who are crybabies or lazy to spirit away. They also mm. donned the same Mino or straw capes that the Ronin did, so it meshed well into this design. I would put the extra truly. 100 added to the BST into attack with 60, special attack with 25, and defense with 15, giving it a solid amount of attacking power and evening out its defenses. To complete this trio, <laughs> let's turn Hisuian Samurott into Mega Hisuian Samurott. Good heavens, it stood up! The horror! <laughs> yes, to properly get across... It's like, I can't believe what I'm seeing! It's standing! <laughs> As its inspirations, becoming bipedal was necessary. So like Decidueye, Samurott is inspired by Ronin, but unlike the other two starters, it doesn't seem to have any clear connection to Ainu gods. So I decided to fix that by pulling in the inspiration of Rep Un Kamui. Hold on, hold on. Watch the face. Watch the face if you can. Watch the face. To Ainu gods. So Slide. I decided to fix that by... It barely changes. The face just slides over. Pulling in the inspiration <laughs> of Rep Un Kamui an Ainu god of the sea, who is usually depicted as a mischievous young man with a harpoon, which fits Samurott's dark type well. We changed the Simitars okay. into one big crooked harpoon to match the god, and gave it this longer hair to reference yet another Ainu god, Kenesunarpe, a blood-drinking monster with long hair that preys upon hunters, leading them to a swamp oh. and ultimately their demise. Further playing into both hmm. Samurott's water and dark typing, to reflect its new bulky okay. physique, for its BST I would add 60 into attack, and then 20 into special attack, defense, and special defense. Making Mega Hisuian Samurott an all-rounder that packs a decent physical punch. And those are what some mega regional Pokemon could look like. Thanks so much to our wonderful Not members bad. who you can see on screen for supporting this channel with their hard-earned money. And you can join them by hitting that join button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.
Oh, well, that's going to be the end of today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to these widgets will be in the description below, and I'll sell you kits next time when we flick back on. This is Fox, signing out. Peace.